Yo, we we back we back right here with Tupac. You know, just chopping up, chopping up a little bit. We, uh, can't let you hear everything. You know, <laughs> some I'll stuff. Put it down, yeah, yeah, yeah. My man's definitely putting it down. One more thing about Death Row. Now, how does the um, what's going on with Dre, and how does that affect Death Row as a whole? No, hold on. Dre's doing his own thing. It don't affect us. My uh, take on what happened was that. Snoop was on trial for murder, fighting for his life. To, somebody had said that Dre was in the car, the, the jury believed that. We needed Dre to be there to say he wasn't there. And once they would have saw him, they would have known he wasn't there. And that would have saved Snoop's whole case. Because they would have saw that the, the witness that had said it was lying. And Dre never showed up. He was too busy. That's how they told me. When they told me that, I was like, well, no matter how dope he is, and Dre's one of my heroes in the music business, but I was like, no matter how dope he is, if you're not down for his homeboy, Snoop brought him back when he was just a relic, when niggas was dissing him, you know what I mean? Then I don't want to be a part of him. I don't want to be around him or nothing. Plus, I feel as though what's done in the dark will come to light. It's secrets that everybody's going to find out about that I don't have to play a hate or draw snitch about. That will come out, you'll find out for yourself, and you'll know why I did it. I swear to God, y'all, I'm living by the rules of the game that y'all, the people, have put down for us to live by. Well, that's real. Let's talk about other things. Like you told us, you got a soundtrack you're working on. You got a new movie, right? What not you talk about? We got a movie called Gridlock coming out. It's like a mainstream movie. It's me coming back into the theaters with uh, Tim Roth from Pulp Fiction and a gang of other movies. I don't know what the female is, but it's a big name female. I'm the music supervisor for the soundtrack. It's my first chance ever doing something like this. We got Lana Morissette on the soundtrack. All these big name alternative supposed to be people who I would never get with. I got them all on the soundtrack to show just like what kind of range I got. And I'm putting that kind of soundtrack out and then I'm putting a rap soundtrack out. And I'm going to do it like a Tupac album basically with me doing a whole bunch of solo songs and Snoop on there doing some songs, Dog Pound, Death Row on there. Just to show that, you know, I got a business mind as well as a creative mind. And to show that I also have, you know, besides just rapping, I can do other ways. I can make my, 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 my way in other ways in this business. That's for, that's for real too. Uh, now when you work with Janet, you know, I was wondering if maybe you could hook me up with her number. If you uh, did you pursue it? <laughs> Dog, on everything I love. If anybody find Janet, tell I'm looking for. Her. That's why I said that shit in my song when my mind's made up. Forgive me, Janet, cause I feel like she got a shit all twisted. People that made her my enemy, she ain't my enemy. Uh -huh. I ain't mad at her, you know what I mean? But I wanna know that, you know, it ain't even like that, you know? She met me at a time of my life when I was real immature. I was coming up, going through a lot, you know? Now she probably see me in a whole different light. Maybe not, maybe she would, but I want that opportunity. So when I see Janet, I'ma try to make right what we made wrong. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be right there with you, bruh. Yeah, call me, bro. I'll Hey, now, I'm going to ask you another question. Five years from now, where do you see yourself? Five to ten years from now, what do you see yourself? What do you see yourself doing? I see myself having a job on death row, owning stock at death row, being an A&R person, an artist that could drop an album like Paul McCartney every five years. You know, not even like Paul McCartney, but there's no rapper who ever did it, so I have no one to use to say like. But, you know, that type of thing where I could just do it at leisure. And, you know, when my music will mean something and I'll drop deeper shit. That, um, I have my own production company, which I'm close to right now. Doing my own movies. I have my own restaurant, which I got right now. With Alanis and Suge and Snoop. Um, and just expand. I'm starting to put out some calendars. I got a, uh, publishing company and put out some calendars for charity. I'm going to start a little youth league in California so we can start playing some East Coast teams and some Southern teams and some... You know, uh, mid Midwest teams, you know, have like a little little league, like a Pop Warner league, but the rappers fund it. And the rappers are the, the head coaches, you know what I mean? Have a league where you get, get a big trophy with diamonds in it for a nigga to stay drug free and stay in school. And that's the only way you could be on the team. And we had fun to eat pizza and had to find his girls there and throw concerts at the end of You know what I mean? That's what I mean by giving back. You know what I mean? Not, not, not being who I am, but by using what I got to give back, to give back. And in closing, what, you know, you got a lot of people, fans that's listening to you right now that don't really get a chance to uh, talk to Tupac up and close and personal like we like we kicked it today. But if it's anything you want people to know about Tupac, what is it you like to say? Number one, when I diss y'all, meaning this, I mean like when you come up to me and I'm not 
giving you the kind of reaction that you think I should be giving you. It's not because I'm ungrateful. It's because I'm nervous. I'm paranoid. I just got out of jail. I've been shot. I've been cheated and lied and framed. And I just don't know how to deal with so many people giving me that much affection. I've never had that in my life. So if I do do that, don't take it personal. Try to understand me and see it for what it is. Now I understand what it's truly like to be like, not that I'm a fine ass nigga, but I understand what it's like to be a fine female going to the club and all the guys just rush you before you ready to be rushed. You know what I mean? And everybody's touching you before you ready to be touched. So now I have a better understanding of what it's like to be a woman. But I also have a better understanding on fans not making me do things. I'm going to do it because I love y'all, because I do appreciate what you did. But when you make me do it, I don't want to do it. I don't care how many albums you bought. You know what I mean? My fans to me are people who follow me and is down for me, understand me. And no matter what people say, they know me. Because they know my actions, they follow me through my career. Not people who just bought my album, because anybody, I buy albums all the time, but I just buy it to listen to. You know what I mean? And if you buy my album, you bought it for the music. You didn't buy it for when you see me, I just break down and start eating you out. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> don't, I don't like that. Don't start, you know, extorting me for your for autograph and shit. You know what I mean? I'm real. I give autographs when I want to. Not because I'm all that, because I'm tired. And I, I, I want to be in this game for a long time. I don't ever want to hate the fans. And that's what these other niggas do. See, they might give you autographs all the time, but they hate you. And they don't even look at you like people. I do look at you like people. That's why I feel as though I can look you in the eye and go, yo, I don't feel like doing that right now. I don't feel like signing the autographs. And you should understand. Because I'm looking at you like a human being. Let's kick it. Let's not take pictures. Let's just kick it. Do that. I want some females to do that. Just come up to me and be like, pop, look. Because every female want to come up to me and be like, I know you think I'm like everybody else. And, and treat me bad and tell me no. Be the opposite way. Everybody doing that. Everybody trying to show me how much they not attracted to me. Do the opposite. Because, you know, these ghetto girls, these minority women is what I call them. Them the only women I could get. Everybody else scared of me. They parents are telling them not to mess with me. So y'all can't fade me. Y'all can't turn on me. Don't change on me. Stay down for me because I stay down for you. And don't extort me and let's just do it forever. It is. Tupac Shakur kicking on the set. Right here. 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 Right here.